brothers and sisters, I ended briefly there, abruptly, but I just want to continue. And so he's talking about St. Manuel that, that a lot of people experience fear and loneliness in this world because there's no one who wants to listen to them. They don't get to vent or view their views. They feel under, misunderstood, misheard, unheard of, etc. But he says, you know, this takes deep faith, but, but, but Jesus is there and he really listens to us and he loves us. There's nobody on earth on the world that loves us as much as God loves us. And he's truly a real, real person. And we have to really believe that. And now can, he says, now can we understand the exclamation repeated in the scriptures several times? Listen to me, to whom shall I go? Lord, so will I be heard. So he says all these different phrases that we see in the scriptures. Now we can understand the work of the heart of, the heart of Jesus that the gospel reveals to us. To listen always. Souls, you who have something to tell and find no one to listen to, know that in the tabernacle there is someone who is always listening to everyone and to everything. Always. Do you remember? The disciples asked the Master to bless and heal the sick at the end of the day, as well as to quiet the winds and the sea in the middle of the night when he was sleeping. He listened to their pleas for help in the glory of the transfiguration, as well as in the humiliation of Calvary. He always listened to everyone. He listened to the simple disciple who asked in order to know, as well as to the shrewd Pharisee who asked in order to trap him, to the crowd that was pressing in on him, as well as to the blind man on the roadside, to the immaculate mother, as well as to the sinful woman. He listened to everyone, to everything. He listened to everything, to the petition made in faith and spoken from the heart by the woman with hemorrhage, to Zacchaeus, to the blasphemous shouts at the praetorium, to the triumphant Hosanna, and to the false testimony to the silent weeping of the penitents and to the evil thoughts of his enemies. He listened to everything. And he continues living in this way in the tabernacle, listening to everyone and to everything. So we, we just make that visit with the Lord and we know that he's listening to us and we rest our hearts on his heart and put our heart on his heart and, and just say, Lord, I know you understand me more than anybody else does i'm very misunderstood at the moment my family doesn't understand me my colleagues at work do not understand me but you understand me lord and it's from that point that we get a sense of consolation may the lord bless you father son holy spirit amen